All right, we're going to talk about how to resort your chart of accounts. So we come up to list and chart of accounts. So why would we need to resort it? Um, so first of all, right, when you're in your chart of accounts, just like any other uh, account type in QuickBooks, notice how we have, when I highlight over this kind of top bar here, I can actually sort by this bar, right? So I can look at my balances. Oh, here are all my balances here. Um, I could add, right, right click, customize my columns and add some additional columns in here. Maybe the description or maybe the tax line, etc. Okay, and then I can sort by those, All right? So how do we get it back to the order that it's supposed to be in, right? So balance sheet on top, P&L on the bottom. So first of all, you do have this diamond up here. When you hit that diamond, it'll put it back in its regular order. Okay, so again, sorting it around. Hit that diamond, it'll put it back into its normal order. You can also come down here to account and select resort list or up to view and select resort list, right? Three different ways to get to the same thing. Okay, so some of the troubleshooting videos you'll see, resorting those lists are really important to get those lists back in their normal order. But what I found with customers is not particularly in the chart of accounts area, or sometimes it is. If your chart of accounts is extremely long, they say, why is everything in order except for these two or three accounts, right? So to fix it, go in there and hit your resort list or hit that diamond up top. 